play double post out of the Colts playbook is one of the best man beaters and really can beat every uh, coverage in Madden 24. I think it's one of the best power plays in the entire game. And the cool part about this play in the, is that it is a quick snap play. I mean, you're only going to need one or two hot routes to make this play effective. Now, this comes up to us out of the Colts playbook. If you want to get my entire Colts offensive ebook, go ahead and join the Patreon. It's only 10 bucks to become a member, and it'll get you access to all of my Madden offensive and defensive ebooks. The setup for this play is very simple. We are going to drag our slot receiver, and at the end of the video, I'm going to show you a really cool way to beat cover three. What you're going to see with these uh, drags and mesh routes over the middle of the field is one of them almost always gets open, either your quick in route to your running back or your quick drag to your slot receiver. Another route that I really like right now is this C route on the solo side. It doesn't always get separation against main coverage. Man, and that's kind of what main coverage honestly is. It's, it's an inconsistent main coverage. But when he cuts to the outside, then you get these nice inaccuracies, and hopefully EA fixes that. But the main route on the play and the route and the reason you run double post is for this post route right here. This is arguably the most consistent man-beating post route in the game and is one of the most versatile post routes given that it could potentially be a big hitter for you uh, as it can get, over, can get over the top of different types of zones. Another thing quick on this is this quick throw to the tight end. One of the things with this quick throw to the tight end is let's say they're playing you and they're going to send five out of man coverage and they have a coverage that looks like this. The beauty of this quick throw to the tight end is it does do a really good job of beating the blitz quick and you can just get the ball out there, get a couple yards, maybe break a tackle, and it will deter your opponent from sending five at you consistently. So typically what you're going to get from a lot of people this year when they do go to coverage defense is they're going to play a coverage defense that looks something like this, where they're essentially utilizing a two-man under style um, of, a, of coverage. Again, this is where this post route just absolutely shreds this over the middle of the field. And so the user is going to have to commit to defending the post route. The problem with the user committing to having to defend the post route is now all of your underneath options should have a pretty good chance of getting open. What you're going to see right here is these drags and the C route are going to have a really good shot. You just want to freeform this. It's crazy that we could throw an inaccurate pass. We're three feet away from the receiver, but that's the game we're playing right now. And, uh, yeah, it's fun. So, again, just uh, these drags and this running back route is really, really good against man. Okay, so now I want to go to zone. I want to talk about what we can do against different types of zone coverages. One of the things that you can do with this play against zone coverage, specifically any kind of cover four or cover three, uh, is this C route actually works like a deep out route. And if they are playing, it creates a high-low read for you on the left side. So if they're playing like cloud flat or uh, hard flats, then when he cuts to the outside, you're going to throw it right there. And as you can see, we're able to catch it, even though we continue to get poor accuracy with, in my opinion, the best quarterback in the game. So weird. Uh, but anyways, the next read on the play, obviously your little drags underneath. The cool part about this is they have to really have underneath yellow zones to be able to defend this. So they almost have to be in like a shade down cover two to really truly stop these drags. But the problem is with this, like, like I'm going to shade underneath here. And the problem is they're going to have to still use her this over the top. they got to have to have this vert hook. And you see here that we're also dropping eight simultaneously while we're showing you this. So you're going to have time in the pocket. Well, when you have time in the pocket on this play, you can step up, obviously run with your quarterback. But another thing you can do that's super underrated about double post is a lot of times, let's say the pressure doesn't get there, which typically it won't, especially if it's a send three. Um, and typically you're going to have a decent chunk of time to be able to hit this route. But what you'll see on this play is late in the play, this tight end is going to wheel up field. And if they're playing hard flats over there, now you've got a late read in the play that can actually bust any kind of like Tampa 2 where they're having to play hard flats. Because, again, the reason they're having to play hard flats is because of these double drags, this mesh concept we have going over the middle of the field. Now, as I said in the beginning, I want to show you a great, a great strategy for beating cover three. What we're going to do to beat cover three, a little bit of a tweak to the setup, we're going to streak the slot receiver. That's really all you need to do to beat cover three, but I would like to show you one other thing I like to do just for the play. But what you'll see is this will bomb cover three over the top pretty much every single time. And if you can juke one guy, you've got a really good shot at at least getting a big play, if not a flat-out touchdown. Now, let's say for – or the, the only other thing that I wanted to say about the setup – is if you are going to run the cover three beater, I recommend taking the tight end and just put him on a quick drag. So that way we still have the meshing concept they have to respect with their user. And then now you have this route hitting them up over the top. 
for a potential one-play score. Guys, the Colts' offensive ebook, specifically the bunch formation in there, is probably the best bunch in Madden. If you want to check that out, join the Patreon today for just 10 bucks. Members get access to all Madden offensive and defensive ebooks, as well as all of the updates. All of our ebooks are probably going to be updated by the end of this week, and we're dropping brand new ebooks later today. So make sure you're in the Patreon today. 10 bucks gets you access to everything. We've already got over 12 offensive and defensive ebooks, and we want to see you in there. Head down to the description and go sign up by clicking the link down below.